Welcome back to the show. Time to talk about WWE. Going to start off with Raw, as always. And uh, once again, you know, I got to say, Raw was another very good show this week. Um, I did get to watch an entire episode in high definition. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I did notice from watching Raw while talking to one of my friends on the phone, hi Karen, um, was that there actually is more of a delay of, you know, when you watch high definition than you would on a regular TV. It, I, it's not a big problem to me, however, I feel that that's something WWE can work on. Um, the first thing that W or that Raw did was the uh, big photo op of the main event for Raw at WrestleMania, Cena, Orton, and Triple H. Um, of course, like I said, I was on the phone, so I probably missed some key moments there. Uh, first match was Hardcore Holly and Cody Rhodes against Santina Marella and Carlito. It was a non-title match, and uh, the main focus of this was Maria and Jerry the King Lawler, Jerry Lawler. The old pervert that he'll always be, God love him, uh, played a part. I thought it was funny, you know. Um, I know I'm going to go on and off of um, what happened in order, but um, Chris Jericho coming in, saying he wanted to match Money in the Bank. He was going to fight Jeff Hardy um, in the show. Now, my thing was when I watched it, I was like, so wait, if Jericho wins, is Hardy out of money in the bank? Because it really wouldn't make sense. Also, at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, well, wait, Jericho's, isn't he in a feud with JBL? You know, I mean, that never really got settled. I mean, but it, in hindsight, as we go later into the show, it really proved to be a very good thing. Um, Jericho and Hardy had a very good match. Um, with Jericho getting the win, and I'll talk about that in the WrestleMania report in a, in a moment or two. And then JBL, and uh, the whole thing with him, Vince, and Hornswoggle. Now, I know that there are people out there who are probably going to bash this, saying how this is stupid, this makes no damn sense. But, you know, for... Because we knew, so I think we, the fans, knew sooner or later it was going to be revealed that Hornswoggle wasn't the son of Vince McMahon. I think it just had to happen sooner or later. But I like the twist that Finley is Hornswoggle's dad. I like that idea. I know people are going to, as soon as they see this, they're going to type it out saying, Oh, you're stupid, Bill, for liking that. But think about it. Here's Finley. You know, it makes perfect sense as to why he's been coming out week after week saving Hornswoggle from Doom. Not the team, but, you know, from Doom. I mean, come on. It makes perfect sense, people. Um, and then we saw the return of D.H. Smith. He jobbed to Umaga. Pretty much the point there. And then uh, William Regal said how he had gotten a letter from Vicky Guerrero saying, how about a match at WrestleMania, one of Raw's best versus one of SmackDown's best. William Regal picks Umaga. I think, well, you're going to actually get a little bit of a spoiler. I don't do spoilers on the show, but you're going to get a nice surprise on that. And then um, the main event, a pretty good tag match, Ornan and... Uh, Kennedy against Cena and Triple H, a good tag match. Oh, and Shawn Michaels. Can't forget about Shawn Michaels and Ric Flair. Great um, segment there. And then the Hall of Fame announcement that Rocky Johnson and the High Chief Peter Maivia are going into the WWE Hall of Fame with The Rock inducting both men uh, on behalf of the Wrestling Man's Wrestling Show. I congratulate High Chief Peter Maivia and Rocky Johnson as the new members of the WWE Hall of Fame, and they actually are, in fact, on the ballot for the Wrestling Man's Wrestling Show Hall of Fame, which I'll talk about at the end of today's show. So, with all that in one breath, it is time for the WrestleMania report, and WrestleMania, can you believe this, ladies and gentlemen, is four weeks away from this Sunday night 
March the 30th, live on pay-per-view special start time of 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. If you don't have pay-per-view ability or capabilities, you can watch it on WWE.com. And what a night it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen, with a double main event. The WWE Championship will be on the line in a triple threat match as Randy Orton defends the gold against both John Cena and Triple H. John Cena has never lost a title match at WrestleMania. Keep that in mind. It is the streak versus the title as Edge defends the World Heavyweight title against The Undertaker. In the much publicized match, Floyd Mayweather Jr. will go one-on-one -on -one with The Big Show. And now, these new matches added this week to the card. It's career-threatening time as the Nature Boy Ric Flair goes up against the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Two new people have been added to the all-important Money in the Bank ladder match. Sheldon Benjamin and Chris Jericho. Raw vs. SmackDown will see Umaga representing Raw against Batista representing SmackDown and it's Bunny Mania as Candice Michelle and Maria team up against the Glamazon and Molina. Now then, last week the WrestleMania question of the week was that, or well the stat of the week was that New York was the first state to host back-to-back -back WrestleManias, WrestleManias 1 and 2. The question that, or last week was, could you name the only other state that held back-to-back -back WrestleManias? And for bonus points, could you name the city, well, and the WrestleMania that hosted? And it was New Jersey, and it was WrestleMania's four and five excuse me at the Trump Plaza Casino and Hotel and of course uh, that really started what we know of the friendship of Vince McMahon and Donald Trump now three people got that right this week and uh, real quick Jared Bond was one of them the other two were WWE JTH and I think, was that it? Yeah, those were the two. Okay, I thought there was more than two. But, here is this week's WrestleMania stat. There we go. This week's WrestleMania stat comes from WrestleMania 12. As we know, Shawn Michaels and Bret the Hitman Hart wrestled for the WWE title in the Iron Man match, one of the all-time classic matches. It was, and is to this day, the longest match in WrestleMania history. One hour, one minute, and 52 seconds. This week's question is, can you name the second longest match in WrestleMania history, and who were the participants and which WrestleMania was it? It's going to be a very interesting question. And, well, it's a very interesting question. It'll be a very interesting answer. I want to see who gets this one. When I come back, it's TNA and Ring of Honor.